In today's fast-paced world, where most cars rely on intricate computerized systems, encountering system failures can lead to a chain of reaction of malfunctions and warning lights on your dashboard. The Autofix D1 Light Auto Diagnostic Scanner emerges as a crucial solution. Hey guys, Joseph Hart here. In our previous discussions, we've explored three different car diagnostic scanners. In this review, we will explore the more sophisticated Autofix D1 Lite. The Autofix D1 Lite Professional Diagnostic Scanner has captivated the automotive industry with its sleek design and contemporary functionality. Securely packaged in a robust hard case, the Autofix D1 Lite ensures safety during transportation and storage. Inside, you will find a power adapter, USB-C to USB and Ethernet adapter, power cable, the Autofix D1 vehicle communication interface with LED connection indicator, USB-C port, and a built-in flashlight. The built-in flashlight is a thoughtful addition for inspecting under the hood in low-light conditions. The customized tablet, enclosed in a protective case, package list, and quick reference guide complete the package. Designed for automotive technicians, DIY enthusiasts, and small-scale repair shops, the Autofix D1 Lite is a professional-grade diagnostic tool. Its advanced features facilitate quick and accurate diagnostics for a wide range of vehicles, simplifying issue identification and resolution. The Autofix D1 Lite boasts a sleek and ergonomic design, featuring a sleek USB card slot, two USB-C ports, a camera with flash, and a large 7-inch LCD capacitive touchscreen display for clear visuals and intuitive navigation. The durable casing protects against accidental drops, making it suitable for workshop environments. Note that the device does not include a kickstand. The Autofix D1 Lite offers versatile connectivity options. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi support enable wireless communication and data transfer. The Autofix D1 Lite is powered by a 4X ARM Cortex-A35 processor running Android 9.0 with 2GB RAM, 64GB storage, and a robust 5800mAh battery. Setting up the Autofix D1 Lite is a breeze. First, connect to Wi-Fi. You need to link the device to an account. Tap link to proceed. You'll be directed to the user center which needs to be downloaded apparently. Log in or create an account. The serial number and password will be automatically captured once you're done. Tap link to proceed. After completing these steps, proceed with software updates. With several available updates, it is advisable to do this overnight. The device provides 2 years of free updates, followed by an annual fee of $120. Once you've done all the necessary updates, connect the V1 device to the OBD2 port to pair the device and run diagnostics. Next, you have to update the vehicle communication interface. You might have to deal with frequent update prompts like this during the initial setup. You will be prompted to rebuild your device after the update. Head over to the VCI manager to establish a Bluetooth connection. Here, you can also connect a battery test box if available. Let's check out the diagnostic functions. It immediately detects and displays some information about the connected vehicle. Explore the diagnostic functions in the OBD2 and EOBD section. This is thankfully the most familiar interface I have encountered so far. From here, you can check DTC and FFD code reading, IM readiness test, live data monitoring, onboard monitor checks, vehicle status, information, and component testing. If you've watched any of my previous videos on car diagnostic scanners, you probably know what some of these are. The DTC and FFD section review current and pending codes. From here, you can access the DTC guide, view freeze frame, search, read, and erase pending trouble codes. Live data returns active feedback about the state of your vehicle. At the bottom are other functions like settings, freeze frame, clearing and recording data. Assessing the onboard monitor requires you to select your vehicle brand. Thereafter, it presents you with data it gets from the vehicle's onboard computer. You can also check out vehicle status, vehicle information and component tests depending on what you are trying to achieve. Back at the Autofix home menu, the Autofix D1 Lite offers additional features such as battery testing, which requires you to have a battery test box. Maxi Viewer for specific functions insights. Maxi Tool for recording communication data and ECU information. Data management and storage options in the Data Manager. The Team Viewer or Remote Desktop enables you to share your screen with another device or another user for remote assistance. In the service section, you will find over 35 maintenance functions, ranging from oil reset, TPMS, language change, SAS, ABS, and SRS, just to mention a few of them. You can also access insightful and knowledgeable content from the quick link section. 
In support, you will find user and device data, training contents, data logs, and frequently asked questions. Additionally, report any issues that you might be facing via the user feedback sections. The Autoface D1 Lite excels in vehicle diagnostics. Bidirectional capabilities enable users to activate various components, read and clear trouble codes, perform system checks, and graph live data for in depth analysis. But like every other tech, it's not perfect. On the plus side, it has comprehensive diagnosis capabilities, intuitive touchscreen interface, durable build quality, and a wide range of service functions. But on the downside, it may be considered too complicated for users who are just looking to get rid of the dreaded check engine light. It has no kickstand, and at over $400, it may be considered pricey for some users, and software updates after the first two years will require an additional fee, which just adds to the cost of using this car diagnostic scanner. In conclusion, the Autofix D1 Lite stands out as a powerful and versatile diagnostic tool. Despite a few drawbacks, its overall performance and usability make it a valuable addition to any workshop. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for more. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye bye.